In this video, we're going to cover how to make your Android phone and your PC read almost any text to you. First, we'll cover Android and then we'll cover multiple methods of getting your Windows PC to read websites or any other text to you. Using this method, you can download books, documentation, websites onto your phone or on your PC and be able to easily go through large amount of content that you may want to read and be interested in reading. So first we'll cover the Android method. So I'm going to switch over to my Android phone. And the first thing we want to do is install the Easy PDF Reader app. So simply go to the Play Store on your phone and search Easy PDF Reader and you want to install the Easy PDF Reader free trial. If you like this app, you can also install the full version. And the full version, as you can see on the screen, is Easy PDF Reader Annotate Form. I already have this installed. It only costs a few dollars depending on your currency. So I'm going to open this. And this is what the app looks like. And these are some of the books I've already been reading. And what it will do now is show you how you can download a book or any other PDF document and get your phone to read it to you. So for example, we're going to search Alice in Wonderland and download that PDF version of that particular book. But again, any other PDF would work. So we'll go ahead and go to the web page that has the PDF version of that book and download that. And click a, go ahead and click download. Now this file has been downloaded. Now by default, it has opened in another app on my phone. What I want to do is open the same PDF in Easy PDF Reader, which we have installed. So I'm going to move over to the Easy PDF Reader and just to make things a little bit easier to see, I'm going to switch over to landscape mode. Then I'm going to click on all PDF, and then I'm going to click on the top right menu button and click refresh and click OK. What this is going to do is re refresh all the folders on your Android to see which folders may have PDF documents. So this is the book we just downloaded. So I'm going to open that. And now we have this book open in Easy PDF Reader. So I'm going to scroll over to the third page just so that we have something interesting to read. And I'm going to click on the speaking icon on the bottom right. And you will get this type of message and click OK. And then Easy PDF Reader is reading this book out loud to me. You can press the gear icon to change the speed. So we're going to do that. And I'm just going to reduce the speed a little bit because I felt that was a little too fast. And go ahead and go back to the book and click the play icon. this, But at the time, it all seemed quite natural. But when the rabbit actually took a watch out of its waistcoat pocket and looked at it and then hurried on, Alice started to her feet, for it flashed across her mind. And then now I just press the stop button to stop reading. So it's as simple as that to get your Android phone to read almost any PDF document to you. Now, if the document you want to read is not in PDF format, you can, on your PC, save it as PDF, email it to yourself, and then open it in Easy PDF Reader, just like we opened it this book, and then get your phone to read it to you. Now we'll move on to multiple methods of getting your PC to read you uh, web pages and PDF documents. So first we'll cover how to get Chrome to read web pages to you. And this method will work in Windows and Mac. 
So let's say I want to read a particular blog post. Um, let's say this this particular one. And I don't want to actually you know read it. I just want it read out loud to me. What I'm going to do is download an extension called Read Aloud. So just Google Chrome extensions. Click on the first link that comes up. Search Read Aloud. And then you want to download this extension, Read Aloud, a text-to-speech voice reader. Add to Chrome. Add extension. And then you will see that it will appear on the top right of your Chrome application. If you have many extensions, it might appear in this menu as well. Then I'm going to go back to the blog post that I want to read, and I'm going to click Building Network Automation Solutions, Network Automation and Hammer of Thor. And Imagine that, as you can see, it started reading this web page to me. It was reading a little slow. So, what I'm going to do is right click on that extension and change the speed a little bit, make it a little bit faster, and then go back to the web page and get it. Building network automation solutions, network automation and hammer of Thor. Imagine that you just stumbled upon the hammer Thor carelessly dropped, and you're so proud of your new tool that everything looks like a So now you can see it's reading a little bit faster. I can, I can adjust the speed, I can adjust the voice, and even try different accents in the options. I can go skip through paragraphs and go to later paragraphs that by clicking the forward fast forward and backward button. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. Imagine that you just stumbled upon the hammer thor that ha and I'm not saying we should keep using box by box C I'm and everything can be solved by proper incantation of Git and Ansible commands or whatever other workflow. So it's as simple as that. Now we can also get Edge, Microsoft Edge, to read this to us. And there are some advantages and disadvantages of Chrome versus Edge, Microsoft Edge. So the advantage in Chrome is that the voice is much more natural sounding, but it's not as easy to navigate. As you can see, that window popped up in which it was a little cumbersome to go through different areas of the web page. Now we will open Microsoft Edge. And I'm just going to bring it over from my other screen here. And we're going to open the same web page. And then we the nice thing in Edge is that we don't even have to download any extension. The reading functionality is built in. So I click on the menu and simply click Read Aloud. Subscriptions. Training. Consulting. Blog. Resources. About. Get started login. Building network automation solutions. And the nice thing about Edge is that it's much more flexible. So I can highlight a word and it, it will start reading from that. Imagine that you just stumbled upon the hammer Thor carelessly dropped and you're so proud of your new tool that everything looks like a nail. And also while it's reading, I can click on another word and it will just start from that particular point. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. Even though it might be a light bulb or an orange. That happens to some reason example. I've seen a hilarious discussion. If you can call 280 character back and forth a discussion. XT, it might not be the configuration. Sometimes increased load. The myth of fail fast and roll back comes from the new age software world and EXT, it might not be the configuration. Sometimes increased load or weird packets or increased number of prefixes or some weird attribute attached to a BGP up. Now, another thing we can do is read PDFs in Edge too. You can read PDFs in Chrome as well, but it works a little bit better in Edge. So we're going to demonstrate that. No wonder that. PDF. We're going to download the same PDF that we downloaded on our phone. And here's the book. And we'll skip to the third page again, just so that we're, or maybe the fourth page this time, just so that we're reading something interesting. And simply click Read Aloud. Never do to ask. Perhaps I shall see it written up somewhere. Down, down, down. 
There was nothing else to do, so Alice soon began talking again. Dino miss me very much tonight, I should think. You can see in Edge, the voice is quite robotic. Um, and you can pick, you can click on this person icon and click different voices. And honestly, they're all a little bit robotic, but some voices might be a little bit better than the other. So we'll try the English accent, for example. Dino was the cat. I hope they'll remember her saucer of milk at tea time. Dino, my dear, I wish you were down here with me. There are no mice in the air. So you can try different accents, and it really helps if you listen via headphones as well. It, it, it definitely helps in the clarity. Uh, but the voice is clearly far better in Chrome. Uh, but because of the flexibility, I like using edge the edge option as well. Now, another thing you will notice is that when it's reading a web page, it highlights the sentence it's reading. But it's when, when it's reading a PDF, it highlights the sentence it's reading, but it makes everything else dark, which is not ideal when you're reading a lot of documents. I'll, I'll demonstrate that again. I'm afraid, but you might catch a bat, and that's very like a mouse, you know. But do cats eat bats, I wonder? So one way to fix this is to save the, the PDF document as an HTML file. So we're going to icon on the right top right here and save the document as you just saw. Now we will go to that document. I'm just going to move this window over from the other screen. So this is the document we just downloaded, the Alice in Wonderland book. And I'm going to, so now this method to convert it to HTML, it requires Microsoft Word. Now there's many other methods of being able to convert from one format to another, and, and you can you know use other methods as well, but we'll use the Microsoft Word method. So what I'm gonna do is again, right click the file, open with, choose another application, more apps, and I'm gonna scroll down and open with Word and click OK. So Word is going to open this PDF, and depending on which, how large the PDF you, is that you're opening, it, sometimes it can take a little while, so just be a little patient. This PDF is not very, very big, so the wor Word is not going to take very long. So now we have the PDF open in Word. Now I'm going to go File, Save As, choose a folder, and all this Alice in Wonderland HTML file. And most importantly, choose the web page option. Okay, so we're going to do that and click Save. And I'm going to close Word and go back to the doc, the folder where I saved that file. Right click, open with, and this time I'm opening it in Edge. By default, it might open in Firefox or Chrome if you have either of those installed. So now we have the same book open in HTML format. I'm just going to make the size a little bit bigger just so that it's a little bit easier to read. OK. And then I'm going to get Edge to read this to me, just like we read the previous networking blog. So I'm going to click on Menu and click on Project View Tenberg's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. This ebook is for the use of anyone anywhere at no cost and with almost no restrictions whatsoever. You may copy it, give it away, or reuse it under the terms of the Project View Ice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. Once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what is the use of a book thought Alice without pictures or conversation? So she was considering in her own mind, as well as she could. Good. For the hot day made her feel very sleepy and stupid. Whether the pleasure of making a daisy chain would be worth the trouble of getting up and picking the daisies, when suddenly a white rabbit with pink eyes ran close by her. There was nothing so very remarkable in that, nor did Alice think it so very much out of the way to hear the rabbit say to it. Oh, the well was very deep, or she fell very slowly, for she had plenty of time as she went down to own, down, down. Would the fall never come to an end? I wonder how many miles I've fallen by this time, she said aloud. I must be getting somewhere near the center of the earth. At good English. I owe user and curiouser, cried Alice. She was so much surprised, that for the moment she quite forgot how to speak. You can see this method is a little bit more flexible than reading the PDF directly. And I'm, I'll demonstrate the distance the difference between the two again. 
So it, it's a little bit of a process to convert the PDF into HTML and open it in Edge, but it's worthwhile. And simply because it just, you know, it's nicer to read that way. Down a jar from one of the shelves as she passed, it was labeled orange marmalade, but to her great disappointment, it was empty. You can see as it's reading, it makes everything else dark. Uh, while when it's reading the HTML file, it doesn't do that. Speak good English. Now I'm opening out like the largest telescope that ever was. Goodbye, feet. So there you go. So in this video, we covered how to make your Android phone read PDF documents to you and how to make your PC, both Chrome and Edge, read uh, HTML file and PDF documents to, aloud to you. And uh, this can be really useful for listening to books, documentations, web pages, um, and anything else. And you know, a, or on on any PC you can, or, or even on a Chrome device or, or Mac, you can save almost any document as PDF, and you can get you know your computer or your phone to read the PDF document to you. Uh, and it can be great, you know, while uh, commuting or uh, doing groceries. Just you can you can listen away to to books or anything else you might be interested in. I hope you find this useful, and uh, I would love to see comments about uh, how you can improve this further. Oh, also, just on last note, just like we changed the voices in. On, on the PC in Chrome and Edge, you can similarly change the voice in in, in the uh, settings in the Android as well. Thank you.